Welcome to another lesson in the Blender. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create sand particles and create a little animation in the Blender. To get started, go and hit zero on your number pad. And we're going to go into camera view. And we are going to set up two planes and a UV sphere above this cube, and that's where the particles are going to be coming down. So with the cube selected, do Shift S and you do cursor to selection to put our cursor on our cube and we're going to add in a plane so go to add mesh plane and drag your plane up and then over a little bit to the left or to your right and then click on the rotate manipulator and we're going to rotate it a little so the sand will fall down and we're going to repeat that so we're going to go to add mesh plane click on the triangle and then use the arrows to drag it up and we want this second plane to be above the first one click on the rotate manipulator and then rotate it so if we look from the side we can see that we have our two planes Okay. so now we need to add in our particle emitter so we're going to go to add mesh and we're going to select UV sphere click OK and then click on the triangle and we're going to move it above the plane on the left and then hit S and scale it down so our sphere will be our particle emitter the sand will come down hit this plane hit this plane and then go to the cube Okay, so with our UV sphere selected, now we're going to set up our emitter. So we're going to click on Object, or you can press F7, and then select Particle Buttons. And I'm going to zoom out for you guys. Let's see, here we go, so you can see it. So where it says Particle System, we're going to click Add New, and it's going to be an emitter. The amount of particles is going to be 20,000. STAs, that stands for the starting frame. We're going to leave it at 1. Our ending frame will be at 150. So we'll have 150 frames. 30 frames in a second, that's 5 seconds. Life uh, specifies the lifespan of the particles so we're going to set them to be 75 frames so they'll live for 75 frames and then fade out under where it says emit we're going to emit from random you can have an emit from a face or from a vertex which is an edge but we're going to click on random under initial velocity we're going to change normal and random to 0 0.03 under global effects that's the flow of the particle. We're going to set it to negative 0.5. So if it's negative 0.5 on the Z axis, which coordinates with our blue arrow, it's going to go down and hit the plane. And then the last thing we're going to do is, on the right side over here, we're going to set tweak to 4. And tweak it calculates the position of the particles and then multiplies it by 4. So once you have all that set up, you're going to press Alt and A together and you'll see that the sand particles come down and they go straight through the plane. Okay. So in part 2 what we're going to be doing is setting up the planes so that the sand will go off of the planes and then off of the cube. So once you have that finished, go to File, Save As you're going to go to the 506, go to your period, go to your folder, and your blender folder. And you're going to name it sand.blend. And then hit save as. Once you have that finished, go ahead and go to part two.